In May of this year, the world was shocked when it learned of the plight of over 1,800 Rohingya refugees from Myanmar and Bangladesh, stranded at sea after their smugglers abandoned ship, leaving them in conditions of squalor. They had been at sea for months in search of safety and a future away from persecution back home. But their ordeal was nothing short of horrifying. I left my country because I could not move freely. I could not work for income. We've put up with so much, insults and harassment. We can't arrange marriages for our sisters and daughters because it's so costly. That's why I decided to go abroad so that I could make a living. They gave us very limited food and water. When we asked for more, they beat us. Whenever we tried to go to the toilet, they also beat us. They always forced us to stay confined to the lower deck. The Navy is coming. The Navy is coming. Every day they threatened us. The smugglers operated the boat for only two days and nights and took the boat in a different direction. They told us they would leave us. International media uproar followed when it was discovered that nearby countries, Thailand and Malaysia, continually turned the refugees away. But help finally came in the form of fishermen from Indonesia. Thailand didn't take us, Malaysia didn't take us. By the grace of Allah, we successfully reached Indonesia. I have seen many Rohingya people here. It seems like they're all my own village people. I felt relieved and happy after seeing them. As humans, we felt that we must help these people because they are in need, especially because we know how it feels. In the past, we were helped by others during the tsunami time in Nase. We need to help these people because we also have the same religion. Many of these 1,800 are in poor health and are being cared for by the government of Indonesia and local fishermen. Now I am only looking towards you. What you will do, I will accept that. The government of this country, what they will decide for me, I will accept that. The UN estimates that over 25,000 have made similar journeys since the start of the year. In each refugee's case, an uncertain future lies ahead. Brendan Pastor, South South News, New York.